Welcome to the Badass American Heroes Podcast. Coming at you now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Badass American Heroes Podcast. I am your host as always, Brandon. This is the Badass American Heroes Podcast. Thank you for joining us again on this lovely Wednesday morning or whenever you're listening to this. Uh, Guys, I'm so pumped to have you all back with me and getting ready to dive into part two of my interview with Chuck Mund. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. And uh, before we get into that, you know, I just want to welcome everybody that's new around here to the Badass American Heroes podcast. And I I just want to thank everybody for coming back, checking it out again. You know, I'm over 1400 downloads now, which is it's just incredible. It's insane for me. And I'm so appreciative of everybody that has listen to the podcast and all the people that have been my guests, you know, all the way back from from episode one, which was just me talking to myself on the internet. And now here we are 20 episodes later, I've got Chuck Mund. I've had David Mashura from Locks Hair Wax Company. I've had Jared Taylor from Black Rifle Co- uh, Coffee and Article 15 Clothing. Uh, you know, I've had um, a bunch of my good friends that I've served with Blake from the Noise Pollution Podcast and Doc Garrett and Mark Harrington. You know, all these just amazing people that I'm so honored uh, took the time out of their lives to be on my, you know, little teeny tiny podcast that you guys are all listening to. Um, So appreciative. So thank you guys for coming back. For those of you that are new and you may not know, this is the Badass American Heroes podcast. It's a bi-weekly podcast where we dive deep into the lives of America's servicemen and women, veterans active duty service members, people that have signed on the line to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. And we dive deep into their lives, into their struggle, their sacrifice, their courage, their bravery. And we look in depth at their lives, where they grew up, what they did, their service, what they've done afterwards, entrepreneurs, doctors, medics, whatever you might be, you know, we, we take a look at that and we get their lessons learned and, and their advice to the next generation of military men and women. And, you know, lessons that apply to people that, that don't ever plan on going in the military or have never been in the military. These are lessons that you can take and apply in your everyday life and see an immediate change and help yourself be more successful. So you don't have to be a vet. You don't have to be somebody that aspires to go in the military you just got to be somebody that, that wants to hear some cool ass stories and be willing to make a change in your life. And that's what this experience is all about. So thank you guys for coming back and checking out the show and being here with me. If you haven't listened to episode 20, which was part one of the interview with Chuck Munn, go back and listen to that before you jump in here. Or else it's not going to make sense. Um, so go do that. Also, guys, if you haven't listened to Swapcast numero four uh, with my boy Blake from Noise Pollution Podcast, check that out. Really, really awesome show, two, uh, almost two and a half hours with Josh Jeans, who is a firefighter in Nashville. He is the co-owner of Led by Iron Apparel and just an all around awesome dude. You know, so much life knowledge to drop and to give out to people. And, you know, go check that Swapcast out. It's a video Swapcast, so it is up on YouTube right now. You can go look at it. You can see me and Blake. As we talk to Josh and as we get to experience that, it's fucking awesome. So check that out. And guys, last but not least, please, if you like the podcast and you like what you're hearing, uh, go leave a review. It's super helpful. It helps me climb up the charts on on you know YouTube and on um, iTunes and Google Play and wherever you listen to your podcast. It, it's really really helpful. It also you know it gives me an idea of what you guys like, what you guys don't like, and how I'm doing. So go leave a, a review and uh, do that. We might be doing a giveaway here pretty soon for the best iTunes review. So keep your ears open for that one. And guys, without any further ado, let's dive into part two of the interview with Chuck Mund. Again, if you haven't listened to part one, go listen to that. But now we're going to dive in with father of three, active duty Navy uh, chief petty officer Chuck Mund. Here we go. So, you know, you've got Pitch and Rudder. Yes. And then you've also got your advertising company. So talk to, 
you know, my my uh, my bachelor's degree is in marketing and advertising. Oh, awesome. awesome! It's a it's a rough rough field to be in. What the fuck made you decide to get into advertising? <laughs> Were you oh, were you man. suicidal or no, depressed no. or <laughs> no? Again, this is this is this is definitely a side thing that yeah. we're doing. Yeah. Um, you know, and I'm also doing it with some other people, uh, and and it's just getting off the ground. You know what I mean? I just put the design together for the logo, if if that makes any sense. But that's it. That's really all. Uh, all I've gotten so far is hard JB advertising shit. The reason why we wanted to start doing that was because of the success that we've had with Pitch and Rudder. And it's crazy because with with having very little knowledge at the beginning of all of this, which was about two years ago when Pitch and Rudder got started, um, we've been able to build our following organically through Facebook, through uh, Instagram, you know, Twitter, all of those different platforms. And we've been able to grow. We're at 27,000 followers right now. You know, That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, nothing, nothing to shake your head at. You know, nothing wild and outlandish, too, because there's there's definitely company companies out there that have, you know, like 60, 200,000 followers. But the big but in that fucking is they're not organically grown. Yeah. You know, a lot of those companies pay a lot of money just to get people to sign on there and make it look like they're bigger than they are. Ours are all organically grown and we did it through Facebook ads. We did it through, you know, one-on-ones. We did it through Instagram. We, we, we used every platform we could. And that's what really got us to this place that we're looking at it now. We're like, man, if only we could find a way to help other people get this same type of organic growth through their companies. And we, we're really not looking at hitting anybody up hard, you know, that are, that are gigantic company, you know, I'm not going to go fucking hit up McDonald's tomorrow or, you know, like fucking, uh, Fox television. You know, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> what I'm looking at is the companies that are, you know, store based that are small, that don't know what they're doing with Facebook because that's where advertising is going. It's on fucking Facebook. It's on fucking Instagram. It, I don't know how many people watch actual television nowadays or get a fucking newspaper. I know people that check their phone 15 fucking times uh, every fucking six hours and look on Facebook and yeah. look on Instagram. And, and Facebook and, and Instagram and Twitter, you know, they're all pushing you towards those advertisements. When you're on Facebook, you can't even watch a, a 60 second long video without having an advertisement in the middle of it. So it is definitely the future oh, yeah. of advertising, yeah. man. Yeah, I think I think Instagram because I love I love uh, influencers. Yeah. I, I I think they're awesome. There's a couple of really great ones out there. You know, like Gary Gary V. Gary yeah, Vaynerchuk. Gary v. Yeah, fucking wonderful. He's awesome. You know, there's other ones too, like Stephen Kuhn, Stephen Eugene Kuhn, who's actually on our Four to Glory page, and you know, fucks with us with Pitch and Rudder too. Um, he's an influencer, and he's a fucking ex vet. He's awesome, and you know, they they all say the same shit, and that's. The future is going digital. It's already done it, but people need to catch the fuck up because I think soon enough, I agree with Gary Vaynerchuk. He said at first, Instagram is going to be how people buy things in the future, yeah. it's period. That's where it's going. Facebook is taking over fucking all different levels of communication now. There's there's no reason, there's no rhyme or reason why people should not be looking at advertising on Facebook, whether they're a fucking, you know, uh, a small run of the mill company, you know, with one store or a gigantic fucking conglomerate. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's you know, I use uh Facebook and Instagram. That that's how I get all my listeners is through Facebook yeah. and Instagram. And I don't I don't even run any paid ads. It's just yeah. strictly through hey, like, shares, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it, it, that's the way of the future. That's the way people are going to push their businesses. The podcast isn't a business, but no, um, but podcast podcast is another form yeah. of advertising, and it, and it's 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 another dimension of you know the funnel. That's what I'm. I know you know what the funnel is. Oh and, yeah. You know other uh, other people that may not know about advertising don't understand what the funnel is, but that is part of the funnel, and it it could be a top tier part of the funnel. It could be a mid funnel. It just depends on your you know the people that are following you and you know what you're getting out of them and stuff. So no, a absolutely, podcasting is so cool, and I'm I've been blessed to do a couple of these now. 
I did one with uh, James Daniel Snow, who's an awesome guy. Did one with him. Uh, also did one, or I think I did two with another. I forgot what the fuck his was. Uh, that's not good. But either way, um, but the podcasting is awesome. You know, you definitely, just like you're doing now, is you're getting the story out. And, and you're getting people to listen and, and, and try to be a part of something. And that's, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, you know, that that is the whole point of this podcast specifically is to help guys like you get your stories out and share the advice that you've gathered over a lifetime of experience. And that's what you're doing with your next project that you've got going on. Mm-hmm. And that's the, the Forward to Glory Facebook page. Yeah. And oh, it's actually it's actually a group under because yeah. you know how yeah, those group. roll. So it's a group underneath the pitch and rudder page. So yes, and so you know we again we touched on it real briefly, and this is where I think we're going to focus a lot of our time tonight. Yeah, is forward to glory is for transitioning active duty military people that are going Absolutely. into the civilian sector. And what you sent me in your bio is you said we do this by bringing them knowledge from industry veteran leaders that learned it the hard way, mm-hmm. learned it by being Absolutely. out there. And you said, you know, you guys have daily Facebook live streams that allow members to ask questions and get answers from other veterans that are, you know, professionals and everything from business consulting to VA home loan purchases and everything in between. And you guys are already at over one and a half thousand members and yeah. growing every yeah. day. And I just became a part of the group. Mm-hmm. What? Cause you haven't transitioned yet out of no. the military. So no. what made you look and say, "Hey, this is what I want to do." And and what allowed you to put these pieces together and get these top professionals and get them plugged into your group so that you could do this because this is I think the biggest problem that people getting out of the military have is they're not ready for it. I agree. The military yeah. does a fucking amazing job of taking civilians and turning them into soldiers or Marines or sailors or airmen or whatever you are. Mm-hmm. It does an absolutely fucking shitty job of taking those same people and getting them back into the civilian society. Yes. I, I couldn't fucking agree with you more. And, 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 you know, to the military's defense, maybe it's not their job to do that. <laughs> yeah. I, think I, was, I was just about to say that, <laughs> you know, their, their job is to take people and turn them into warriors that go out yes. and do a specific job. It's not yes. necessarily to say, okay, thanks. Now we're going to turn you back into a civilian, but it's a huge fucking problem. Okay. And you know, the military is not going to do anything about it. The VA is not going to do anything about it. So it comes to guys like me and you, Mm -hmm. to pick up the slack and do something about it. So how did you do it? What made you see this is a problem? Let's start there. What made you see like, hey, this is something that needs my attention? Well, first off, you know, uh, being in the military myself for 13 years, you know, you come across a lot of different types of people. You know, the the military is diverse in every which way and form. Um, And it's getting more diverse as we speak. You know what I mean? So, what, what I've seen in my military career is people get out of the military and completely lose sight of everything that they wanted to do when they were in the military. The, the military has a great idea, and you, you hit it right on the head too, you know, Brandon. You hit it on the head. Um, they, they, they do a terrible job. They do the best they can, but in the end, there's only so much the military can do because when you remove somebody's uniform, when you remove somebody's rank and their way of life and you put them into something that, let's be honest, civilians, they don't care. And I'm not saying they should, but they don't care yeah. because you need to put up or shut up. You need to get the fucking job done or you go the fuck home. And that's very simple. And it can happen at a moment's notice. You know, people get fired after, after being with a company for 35, 40 years and collect no pension. That shit happens, and it's just the way of the world. Uh, people lose their identity after leaving the military. It's just a fact, you know. Uh, when you take somebody's uniform, rank, or anything away from them and their way of life, they lose a lot of themselves in that process. So who they are has changed dramatically, and they have to find their way. And a lot of people, you know, they need help. 
They they need a guide. They need a little bit of a push in the right direction, or they are bound to do one of the many things military members do after the military. I mean, statistically, you know, you can look at it, homelessness in the veteran community. You can look at suicides of veterans. You you can look at all all the different facets. You know, people that get out of the military and get jobs, they they get fired quicklier than anybody else. They have to uh, change jobs. Most veterans change jobs at least five times after leaving the military. That's that's the facts. And what we want to do with Forward to Glory is give everybody, every single active duty military member, the opportunity to get real world experience from the people that did it right. Not even the people that – not even so much that did it right at the beginning, but looked at what happened and decided to do something different and make their own way and give that knowledge, give that experience to the people that need it the most. You know, we have a lot of active duty members in Forward to Glory that don't even plan on getting out for the next like myself, like next 10 years. And that's, you know, what what the hell am I doing not to listen to these guys or these girls? You know what I mean? That's that's what Forward to Glory is about. It's about trying to show all of anyone, any active duty member that you can succeed. These are your tools. This is exactly what you need. And we're going to give it to you for free. We're going to give it to you from I'm, I'm talking to some of these people that do lives on our uh, on our Facebook group for to glory. They are they are leaders in their fields. We've got Stephen Eugene Kuhn that comes on, who's a. Uh, retired army uh, master sergeant, I believe. Um, we've got Derek Cision. Derek Cision is the owner and founder of America Bourbon, and you know they do work all over the country. He was just uh, they, he was just on Grunt Style. Um, they got their own thing that they're doing together with Grunt Style right now. Um, we've got a guy on there, uh, Richard Kaufman. He's known as the supplement man. That man has done great things for people. And he was, he's a retired veteran as well. You got people on there like Chris Griffith. He does the five-year VA, uh, home loan. That's, that's what it is. It's the five-year VA house hustle. That's what he calls it. That's his little hashtag. And what he does is he shows people how to take a VA home loan, invest it correctly into a property and flip it and make money off of that and do another VA home loan and do it again and do it again. And he's showing people for free, answering questions for free on this Facebook page. We got guys like Greg Buddha. Greg Buddha is one of the coolest fucking dudes I know. He, he runs his own jewelry company in Thailand. And he's a he's an army veteran as well. Or is he a is he a marine? Shit, he's gonna kill me. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna kill me. I know it. Fuck no, he's a marine. He's Fuck one it. of the two dumber branches. He's in. He was the he was in the marines because he was giving me shit about being a chief. He keeps sending me pictures of fucking goats. Um, but anyways, <laughs> he uh, but he he runs his own jewelry factory in thailand and he's on there giving facebook lives pushing out information you know we got guys like ryan smeltz the the bearded veteran i got charlie adams he's going to be coming on soon he's just and he's a navy guy as well <clears throat> and uh you know he does uh entertainment he does facebook and he does uh, comedy shows and all types of shit so we got all of these guys all of this information and it's at people's fingertips 24 7 and you know we're giving it to it we're giving it to the active duty community um just willingly and that right there is my baby that is my my pride right there everything else with pitch and rudder absolutely i put my heart into that but what we're able to do now when being pitch and rudder actually started to take off and, you know, giving us this opportunity to reach all of these people, you know, we, we knew, you know, Terry knew, Grady knew, we all knew that we needed to give back and, you know, it helped. It even helped Terry when he, when he uh, transitioned out of the military just a couple of months ago, you know, that, that same type of thought process and not having enough information was something that we talked about and we're like, we got to find a way to get this information out there. And that was what we figured out. That's awesome, man. Because, you know, 
that's you said something pretty key in there about it's your guys' way of giving back. Yes, absolutely. And you, that was my biggest problem when I got out of the army, and I was exactly that guy that you were talking about. You know, working five jobs, leaving each one, and the time that I would be at each one was shorter and shorter. Mm-hmm. And I, I couldn't figure it out, you know, yeah. because I went from doing the best job on God's green earth and the best organization on the planet to working as a security guard at a mall for ten fifty an hour. Yeah. And it, it was horrible. It was brutal. And it made me feel like a piece of shit and a failure. And it wasn't until... You know, until I got the idea for the podcast that I felt like I had my way of giving back. The veteran community gave me so much. The military gave me so much. And so it was finding my way to give back and, and, you know, be a positive influence on the world. And so to see another group of people out there with that same mindset is just, it's so awesome, man. And um, it's it's such an important process and and thing for, for us as, you know, guys who kind of are starting to figure it out. I'm not going to say have it figured out because I don't, (laughs) you know, Um, it does, man, but (laughs) you know, we're starting to, to get on the right path to figuring it out. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you said it's a group on Facebook. Where can, Mm -hmm. how can, how can people find that if, if they're an active duty guy or a veteran that, that want to get plugged into that? Yeah, very, very simple. You know, you just go to the search block in Facebook and type in forward to glory, three words, and it's going to be the first one that pops up. There's no other name like it. You just click on that. And as long as you're an active duty service member or you're a military veteran, we're, you, you got to plug in some answers there because we try to make sure we vet everybody correctly. Um, and, and trust me, that's one of my long processes that I've been dealing with is like I'll get 300 people that want to join but I can only let 12 of them in because I have no proof that these guys are active duty or veterans. Um, so, because that's what I wanted to specifically make this group for, because that's exactly who it's tailored to. You know what I mean? It, we don't want anybody else involved. It, there's some things that some people won't understand. And there's some information that's, that's really great information that only veterans can actually take part in, you know, like the VA home loans and stuff like that. So we just want to make sure we get the right people in there, um, you know, being active duty or veteran. Uh, But, you know, the, the four to glory in a whole is just, it, it was my brainchild, but, you know, I've seen it done wrong so many times and I've seen people just fail you know, and and granted, a lot of the things that we do in life is about failing and learning from our mistakes, but there should be a time of learning, you know, just like you go to school. It's the same thought process. You know, you go to school to learn some shit, to get your head right. So when you get into the real world, well, at least you got something to go off of. And, you know, the just like anything, you, everybody's going to get out what they put in. So if people are there asking the questions and, you know, they're they're getting the information that they need that and and there's back and forth, then everybody's going to be all right. You know, there's it's really cool, too, because even out here in Washington, I met up with a couple of people that were on the group that I didn't even know. And one of the ladies, Jennifer McMillan, she turned out to be a fantastic networking person out here for the veteran community. So now she's got me into a bunch of crazy shit that I didn't even know I wanted to do. But that helped me like this group. I thought about what was going to help me when I left. Cause that was something I thought about doing a couple of years ago was getting out. Cause I started a couple of different businesses, you know, a couple of years ago that never took off whatsoever, but I tried because I thought I was going to get out of the military and I knew I wanted to do something that I enjoyed doing that I wanted that would help. And, you know, I just really knew that all along this was going to be something that I wanted to really pushed to every single person I could. So they had the opportunity to make the right decision if they wanted it, it's there for them and they can have it for free. That's, that's all for them. This is the legacy that, you know, we want to leave behind what you're doing with your podcast is 100% your legacy. And that's what you're going to leave years and years after you're gone. 
And my hopes and dreams, you know, as far as they can reach with pitch and rudder and JAB advertising, which is a monetary thing. And, you know, it helps out. Absolutely. It makes life easier because, you know, I make money and stuff. But the legacy of it, you know, do I want to be remembered for making challenge coins and all of these other things? Well, yeah, that's great. But I want to be I want to be remembered for getting people to a place where they're happy and where they can move on with their civilian life in a in a great way because i want everybody's got to get out of the military one way or another you know what i mean it's not going to stop either you're going to get out at 35 years you're going to get out at four years or somewhere in between but you're going to get out and you have to be prepared that's why i always use the hashtag with everything i do it says be ready so you have to be ready for when that time comes and in the military where we're at nowadays like it, the, the military we're in now is a hell of a lot different than it was during World War Two, Vietnam, you know, during the uh, uh, what was that during uh, Saddam Hussein's reign and all of that. You know, it's a different military and every day it gets different. Yeah, there's opportunities for people to get out of the military like crazy. Now, people people don't need to be in the military. You know what I mean? Like they will kick you the fuck out for who knows what and you know you could just be having two beers at the at the drive-in decide to go home and this just happened the other week and you get stopped you blew a 0 0.08 well that's enough to get you a dui guess what goodbye you're out of the, you're you're out of the fucking military and were you ready and that's the question that people don't think about so and i'm i'm six years from getting out I, I got to be ready every second. Yeah. You know, I got kids and I got shit to do, you know? Well, and, you know, the saying is with war, you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Yeah, so, absolutely. And it's Practice the same like thing. Play. It's the same thing with getting out of the military. You you stay ready so you don't have to get ready at the last minute. Um, you know, give us maybe your top three pieces of advice on, on how – somebody that's getting ready to transition can start getting ready mm. for that transition and, and for a successful transition. Start figuring yourself out. That's the first thing. When we joined the military, just like I did, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. I had no clue. I was 18 years old. You know, I wanted to be close to an aircraft. Yeah, sure. I'll take that job. You heard it. You know, if you can figure out you and what your passion is, you know, whether that's, being a designer or being, you know, a mechanic or being, you know, just a, a fucking anything in this world. If you can figure out what your passion is, go for that. Start digging into it. You know, we all say that we work 12 hours a day with the military, you know, um, 12 on 12 off most of the time for us that are out to sea or, you know, you're working long hours a lot. But people really need to take that time <clears throat> that they're not at work to be benefiting themselves one way or another. That's that's the second piece right there. You know, you got to use the time that you are not at work, wearing the uniform, serving the country to really dig in to what you think you are going to do when you get out. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter if you're fucking three years in and you don't know what you want to do if you want to reenlist at four or if you're 16 years in and you might retire in four years. It doesn't fucking matter. You know, the, take, the take military has so many great programs, too, that you can use while you're in to get yourself ready for when you're not in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, taking advantage of, you know, like what we have w with fleet and family or, you know, um, getting into the TA part of it, you know, tuition assistance. Yes. If you want to go to college. Courses. Yeah. Or, you know, digging into VA home loans and figuring out real estate, if that's the route you want to go, whatever the fucking case is. You know what I mean? Like, just figure that out and use your time that you are not at work to do something with that, whatever that is. And I think the third one is definitely going to be some of the it's going to be the hardest thing for a lot of people because the military has made us a certain way and we don't like to fail we really don't when we fail we take it upon ourselves as a personal fucking problem that we failed 
that we are doing something wrong. It's on us and it be, and it drags us down sometimes. Failure is very difficult for military members and veterans alike because the military says, we're going to go there. We're going to fucking do what we do. We're going to do it better than anybody else. And we're going to fucking kill everybody. That's what we do in the military. And we succeed. You know, we don't lose. We are the U.S. military. We don't lose. So the problem with that is is on the civilian side or in your extra four hours or six hours that you have for the rest of the day, you're going to fail. <laughs> you're you're going to fucking fail. I'm sorry, but that's, that's going to come. And you have to be ready for that failure and use that failure to actually become better. And that's the point. That's, that's where true entrepreneurship comes in. That's where, true drive is shown because the people that can, you know, win at everything, I don't fucking look at those people as actual accomplishments. I look at the people that have lost time and time and time again, but found a way to make something work and they've developed themselves into something very, very strong. So the biggest thing, that third part of the three that you were asking for the third one is definitely going to be be ready to fail but learn from each failure if you do those three things i think most people will succeed yeah i agree those are great pieces of advice for people to listen to um you know give us your advice for a 17 year old kid at home who's saying hey maybe i want to join the military Maybe I want to go to college. Maybe I want to just sit in mom and dad's basement and play video games all day. What's your advice for somebody that's considering joining the military right out of high school? Oh, someone considering joining the military. Um, I would have to say, do you believe that what you do matters? When you wake up in the morning, and you get dressed and you go to school or you go do, you know, play your video games or you, you know, drive your your dad's car to the to the drive in with your girl. And, yeah, there's not very many drive ins out there, but there is one in Washington and I know where it is. So I go to it <laughs> anyways. <clears throat> no, if any of those things, you know, are you able to look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day? and know that you've accomplished something. If your answer is yes, then maybe, you know, the military may not be what you want to do. If you're if you are knowing that what you do every single day matters, you're making a a good um you're you're giving something good to the world every single day of your life, then maybe you're doing something right and congratulations to you whoever you are. If not, then maybe the military is something you want to find. You know, you really want to do something that means something to more people than you could ever imagine. Join the military and give yourself to it. You know, that's a big part. You have to be able to let go of everything that you think is important and find something else that is. And that's what the military did for me. You know, it gave me the opportunity to be something bigger than I was. And that's all I was looking for, you know, at that time. I was looking for a way out, a way to matter, a way to be a part of something bigger. And that's what the military did for me. Maybe it's the same thing for that 17-year-old that's sitting at home just bullshitting, you know, jerking off and playing fucking video games. I don't know. Um, but I would definitely stress that to anybody that wants to join the military, you know, or is, or is contemplating it is what you do matters and are you doing something of value if you're not then the military may be the way to go and nobody has to sit there and say you know you're going to do fucking 20 years plan on fucking being away from home for the rest of your life you know, you know blah fucking blah fucking blah you can serve four years and and do it honorably and take your money go to fucking college Get your degree in whatever you want. Have the military pay for it and do something fantastic with your life. I'm not saying everybody has to join the military, but I think 
I think 75% of the people in America should or should have one or one way or the other, because they could have given something that they didn't even know. They didn't even know they could give. And I think that's important. I think that's something that people could hear and say, oh, okay, well, that makes fucking things a little easier for me to understand. (laughs) So that's what I would tell them. That's great. I like it. All right, man. So do you got anything else for us before we start to kind of close this up and and wrap it up a little bit? Anything else you want to touch on or, or put out there? Um, you know, uh, I definitely want to push the business just a little bit more. You know, I, I, I think where we're going with pitch and rudder is just going to really start taking off. We're redoing the website and Terry has been putting a hell of a lot of hours into it and really been making it something spectacular. And it's going to make it so simple for people because what we do a lot of the time is custom and people don't know how to really get what they want out of, you know, their coin. They have an idea or, you know, their buckle or wh- whatever it is, their t-shirts. We do a lot of good t-shirts now, we do a lot of command t-shirts. Um, but people, they, they don't know how to fucking get out what they need. What we're doing is we're streamlining the process and we're really trying to make it easy for people to get exactly what they're looking for, or maybe stuff that they didn't even know was possible and giving it to them, you know, so they can make the best decision to, uh, to get something done. That's really awesome. Uh, you know, we're going to be doing stuff out here in Washington. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of good stuff cause I'm taking over for the, uh, the West coast side of pitch and rudder. Um, and we're going to be really getting our names out there as much as possible. And, you know, we don't just work with military for pitch and rudder. Um, of course, that's our main focus, our main drive. But again, we're starting to, you know, branch out into the other things like, you know, real estate, uh, home investors. We're looking at, you know, different people that have programs, you know, people like having those step programs and giving somebody something that they may like, you know, whether it's a pin or a, or a coin or a buckle or what, whatever they want to do, you know, we can do, and we do it better than anybody else. That's for fucking sure. So people just need to reach out to us. You can always find us at pitchandrudder.com. Um, you can definitely go to our Facebook page. It's the pitch and rudder page. You can hit us up on Twitter. You can hit us up on Instagram. We're fucking everywhere. And we really want people to just let us know what they're looking for and let us do the rest. We'll make it happen. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get them exactly what they, what they're looking for. And guys, Um, I'm going to put the links to all the pitch and rudder to forward to glory to everything that chuck gives us all the links are going to be in the show notes in the podcast i'll also put them in a post up on facebook and you know instagram sucks and won't let you put web stuff up there (laughs) but you know you'll be able to get to them through instagram um through the actual podcast show notes so those will be up for everybody to see if you're looking for custom work t-shirts coins stickers whatever it may be These guys are the guys to go to. They're going to take care of you. You know, one thing about veterans that that start businesses is these guys pay attention to detail. So (laughs) the, the attention to detail that goes into your design and into making sure that it's fucking perfect is going to be better than anywhere else you can go. So, yeah, we, we do this thing too. It's really cool. Now we just started doing it is we actually keep you guys in the loop with, where your product is in the process of being created and you actually have your one-on-ones if you need it to with the actual manufacturer too so if there's something that you see from uh cnc which is you know the 3d conceptions um or anything else you can actually we we get you into the program and you guys can actually tell them well hey what is this is this can it be like this or can i change that and we we work with you guys we don't pay or we don't we don't make people pay for you know getting these designs created we we only you know collect payment once you guys approve everything and make sure everything is exactly the way you want it and that's another thing that a lot of people don't do is we we give people the opportunity to talk directly to the manufacturer so we can make sure everything is good all the way down the line that's awesome and you know that's the the kind of quality that that you don't see a lot these days so much stuff is just you know slap it on there call it good and and go with it you know you see a lot of you know uh 
Teespring or whatever it might be. <laughs> and it's like, dude, that stuff is just crap. It, it's not good quality. It's not worth the money you're spending on it. So this way, when you guys get this stuff, it, it's quality. You're helping out veterans. You're getting a quality product. And you're getting something that you're going to be proud to wear, to display, to use. And it's really going to have some great meaning behind it. And, oh, yeah. and that's one of the cool things, you know, with the challenge coins that we talked about is, is the meaning behind this stuff. Yeah. And that's why it's so important to get it right. Um, what's the weirdest thing, like design that you've ever made? Is, is there one thing that you can look back and be like, yeah, that was, that was really weird. I can't believe we did that. Uh, so, okay. That's funny. Um, no, we did, we, we got it all the way to, uh, preliminary production and it was so funny. So this guy wanted us to create <laughs> a, big, a big fucking coin that is essentially just a middle finger. Oh, that's great. So he could send it to his old commands. And oh, that's awesome. <laughs> just, so it never, so it's funny, but it never, it never made it through, but um, that was definitely one of the coolest ones. And I really think, um, I really think the coin that we did for the salty soldier once it comes out, I, and I'm waiting for Forrest and for James to really put it out, so I can't tell you exactly what it is. But when that one hits, it's going to be big, man. It's going to be crazy because we put a lot of time into that one, and James and them, they came up with a great fucking idea, and it's going to fucking take off, dude. It's crazy. That's great, man. I can't wait to see what it is. I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of the stuff that they put up on Facebook. Some of their stuff is pretty funny. Oh, yeah, they're they're fucking hilarious, both of them. Yeah, so if you guys don't at home don't know what we're talking about, go to Facebook and search in uh, the Salty Soldier Facebook page. They got they do a lot of memes and, and you know, funny videos and stuff. And kind of some of it's – most of it's more military-centered, but it's pretty funny, and anybody can look at it and laugh, and oh, it's yeah. great they, stuff. They, they got a bunch of crazy, funny shit on there. Their memes are out of this world. Yeah, man. they're Good crazy. Stuff. All right, man. So, you know, is, is there anything else you want to put out there? Any shout outs you want to give or any last little pieces of advice? Um, you know, the the last thing I'll put out, man, just to reemphasize even more than I already have is for the glory. I mean, I really hope as many people that can get on there does, you know, I can only invite so many people, just the people that I know on the Navy side. Uh, we got a lot of Army people in there. We got a lot of Marines. Uh, we have Air Force people in there, and which is crazy, too. I should bring this up. We are actually working with the guy that is creating, and he's been developing it now for about four years. He's trying to develop a brand new GPS program. Um, and for anybody that doesn't know that, it was what was TAPS a long time ago, the required uh, uh, class that you have to go to to get out of the military, you know, yeah, I'm sure you went to it. Was it TAPS class when you yeah, went through Yeah, I don't it? remember what they called it. Um, or, like I know that. they changed it to TGPS, like transitioning whatever the fuck GPS is. Yeah, so, I, I got out in 2011. I, I don't remember what they called it. It was something stupid yeah, that I, was worthless. Yeah, I think, I think what you went through was TAPS. Okay, so this guy, and we're working with him directly too, this guy is – actually been developing this program now for four years it's in the last couple of stages to actually get pushed which he's looking to do within the next four months um and he, he fucking awesome dude uh i got hooked up through johnny corson who is the guy that runs the blue jacketeer mm -hmm. fucking awesome dude uh but we we got up together and he's actually going to be doing some surveys through uh forward to glory to really make sure all the information that he gets out is going to be stellar and it's going to be available to the entire military. It's going to be fucking crazy. Like he's been doing this now to the point where it's scientifically based on people's personal attributes and what they can do to succeed after the military. I mean, it's crazy stuff. So I, I just really hope that this reaches as many people as possible so we can get forward to glory to a place where, you know, it's self-sustaining and, People can just ask the questions, get their answers, and and really set themselves up for success success after joining or after leaving the military. 
because that's our goal with forward to glory. We just want to see as many people succeed as we possibly can. Um, you know, some shout outs, of course, I got to give it out to uh, Terry Maynard first and foremost guy is amazing. Does nothing but great work. He's been doing it now for years with pitch and rudder, but he was also a great service member too. I worked for him directly at VP 30 and, uh, Definitely an awesome person, and you know, an awesome business partner, awesome boss, awesome all the way around. He makes life a hell of a lot easier. And, uh, you know, some of the stuff that he does is just incredible. So big shout out to Terry Maynard. You know, I definitely got to give a shout out to Shady Grady Banks, who's serving our country the best way he possibly can right now, being forward deployed. Um, he's not probably going to be able to hear this right now because he's somewhere on a ship. I can't tell you where because of OPSEC. But um you know he's doing fantastic things you know and just love the hell out of that guy um big shout out to steven eugene coon for continuing to help us out with forward to glory putting out those great facebook lives like he does pretty much every single day um you know i'll i'll definitely hit up andrew o'brien omari brassard those guys from the Vetrepreneur tribe um those guys are freaking awesome uh, Johnny Corson, uh, you know, James Shortway, Forrest Munden, Richard Kaufman, Ryan Smeltz, Greg Buda, you know, all of those guys and, and definitely Chris Griffith and his fucking beard, Chris Griffith, and his beard, <laughs> awesome fucking dude. Um, all of these guys have so much great knowledge and, you know, just seeing these veterans, willingly give this information out and do one-on-ones with people and you know do like a facebook live messenger with people and take time out of their day to help people in any which way possible you know that's that shit man They're, that's the coolest fucking thing in the world i think so big shout out to all those guys um and definitely brandon big shout out to you i really appreciate you letting me come on here and you know uh spit my stuff um thank god i've had this glass of uh whiskey here next to me the whole time um because my god it's just made it so much better this is so awesome whiskey you, makes fantastic. everything better man <laughs> uh, you ain't lying man but no i really want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to come on here and uh you know promote the things that i'm doing um and, and the ways that we're trying to help because i know what you're trying to do too is you're trying to help and you know the moment i saw your uh your your post on the drinking brothers which we i don't even know if we talked about no we, we didn't about man drinking bros the hell see and we're drinking and we're brothers yeah, i know you got I, a beer God. right i i've got more than one <laughs> well yeah meeting up on drinking brothers you know that's just that's another great thing man this this whole thing is all about networking and giving people good information and this podcast right here is definitely a great way to get it out. And, you know, hopefully, you know, it's, it's taken to the right way and people understand it and they embrace it for exactly what it is, which is again, what you said earlier was trying to give back. And that's what we all want to do, man. Yeah. We want to make sure people are taken care of people get all the information that they can to succeed. And then hopefully they take that information and they make something worthwhile. Yeah, absolutely, man. I couldn't agree more. And, you know, we'll touch on it real quick for the people that don't know. Drinking Bros is, you know, at this page, at this point, it's more than just a Facebook group and a Facebook page. It's it's a global community with chapters around the world. And it's not just all military. It's not just all vets. It's just cool people that love freedom, love each other. And the whole point behind it is never drink alone. And if you don't know about it, go back and listen to the episode with Jared Taylor, one of the, the founder behind drinking bros, one of the big heads between uh, behind article 15 clothing and black rifle coffee and lead slingers whiskey. He came on the podcast. He goes in depth about what drinking bros is about and you know why it's here. But if you're not in that, get in that fucking group. Like right now, <laughs> go fucking find that shit on Facebook, add yourself it's got a couple questions you got to answer just so we know you're not ISIS um, <laughs> and and get in there and get plugged in, man, because it's a group of people that, you know, care about each other and love each other. And the whole point is never drinking alone, never being alone, never feeling alone. And, and, you know, I had posted something in one of the drinking bros sub chapters for business owners saying, Hey, you know, I'm looking for somebody that would be interested in doing uh, some artwork, some graphic design work. And the people that want to come on the podcast and, and, 
talked about their story and their businesses and their lives. And, you know, Chuck said, Hey, fuck yeah, absolutely, man. Let's do it. And so here we are now, you know, it was just a couple days ago that I posted that. Yeah. And here we are now, you know, chatting, we live an hour and a half away from each other. And (laughs) now we're, you know, we're going to be meeting up for beers more than once. Oh yeah. So let's do it. It's a great, great community. Get out there and, and you can get in touch with other like-minded people and it's great. Oh yeah, man. I mean, I'm, I'm just surprised, you, you know, it's, it's always humbling, you know, and I, I talked about it earlier with James Shortway when he said, you know, Chuck's one, Charles is one of those guys that networks with everybody, but you, you know, what's funny is I know that Facebook groups and, you know, pages and whatever people, people have a certain stigma that sometimes comes with those. And it's true. It is what it is. People, but like everything, you get out what you put in. And when you get into a group or you get into a page and you get into people that are under the same mindset or the same thought process as you, you know, that just builds such a great community. It, it's, it's all there for you too. You know, people, the, these people are all around the world and yeah. some of them are, are succeeding at levels that, you know, is just incomprehensible to some of us. It's, it's just fucking true. And when you get to know these people, that's how I'm able to ramble off all these guys' names. Mm -hmm. You know, if it wasn't for these groups, if it wasn't for these pages, I wouldn't know these people and become the networker that I have become. And, you know, I just, uh, I think drinking brothers is fucking dope, dude. Drinking brothers has got some great shit in there. You know, the Vetrepreneur tribe, that's definitely a big one. Those are for veteran entrepreneurs that want to figure out what the fuck they're doing with their lives and develop something, you know, great they they have so many different plans in there and networking they've got thirteen thousand people a part of that group and then you got you know forward to glory you've got all these great fucking avenues for people to succeed people just have to get out there they have to you know like these pages they have to like these groups and get involved and become a part of something and you know that i think is such a big help for so many people and it's it's crazy and i might be going off here just a little <clears throat> but there's people in these groups and it's it's amazing because you start a group with a certain idea and then what you wanted to do becomes something completely different even within a month or in two months because these people are finding their way through life or they're finding they're finding approval through the things that they do they're finding purpose in their world for what they are doing through these groups. I mean, somebody put up on uh, forward to glory just a couple of weeks ago about how this group is helping them, you know, not only reach people, but see that what they thought they could do, you know, and were thinking of doing because this person had suicidal ideations at the time, it helped them find community. And that's what this shit is all about, man. That's that. So all of these fucking things, Drinker Brothers, Betpreneur Tribe, you know, fucking Forward to Glory, fucking all of these great avenues. They're they're awesome. I think everybody needs to be a part of that shit. Yeah, man, they're all great, and I love every single one of them. Um, you know, before we go, why don't you throw out all your social media handles, your website, wherever you want anybody to be able to find you online. You know, okay. throw all, all that stuff out there. And like I said, we'll put everything in the show notes, too, and on Facebook so that you guys can find Chuck and everything that he's got going on. But throw those out there, and then yeah. we'll start to wind down. Yeah, man. I mean, first and foremost, pitchandrutter.com. Can't say that loud enough because we're just redoing the website. Shit's going to be off the chain. So people need to get on there. Hit us up. You can always reach us at our customer service email, customer service at pitchandrutter.com. I run that personally with a couple other guys. So we definitely try to get back to people as quick as we can uh, with any questions or anything that they need done. Um, you can always find us on Facebook, Pitch and Rudder. Just type it in your search block. We're right there. You can type in Forward to Glory. Find us right there on Facebook. And then ask yourself or uh, try to add yourself. And I'll bet you make sure that you're not ISIS, like Brandon said. You know, we're, we're, we don't want ISIS in there. And then I'm going to add you to it. You're going to be a part of it. Same thing with uh, – Instagram, it's at Pitch and Rudder. Um, we also have JAB Advertising, which is just getting off the ground, of course. You can search for us on Facebook. You can search for us on Instagram as well. I think right now JAB Advertising has already grown to 6,000 followers on 
fucking Instagram, which is fucking wild. That's so crazy, we're, we're, man. Yeah, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to do different things here and try and trying to build it in different ways. So Instagram was the first way we wanted, and then we're going to start building through Facebook. Um, but yeah, you can find us at JB Advertising on uh, Instagram, and then of course the uh, Twitter handle at Pitch and Rudder. Um, you can find us, ask questions, post whatever you want to do, man. Just you can find us everywhere. We're all over the fucking place. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anything else you want to throw out there, man, before we take off? No, nah, man. Just really want to say thank you again for uh, letting me come on here and, you know, bullshit with you, have a drink, because, um, you know, my shit's almost gone. I still got about <laughs> a couple couple of centimeters left in here, so I'm going to – because I do my shit straight, man. I like uh, – uh, I'm on uh, Jack Daniels Honey right Ooh, now. Ooh, that's good and stuff. I, Oh my god, dude, it's fucking delicious. And all I do is throw an ice cube in there and just sit back and sip, man. That's, that's it's great, man. That's the way fucking do wonderful. It. Yeah. So no, I again really appreciate you bringing me on here. I, I appreciate and you me that opportunity. On, I appreciate yeah. you coming on and and sharing your story and you know telling guys and gals what they can be doing to set themselves up for a successful future outside the military. Because like you said, it comes to an end at some point. Everybody has to get out. Whether you're private Joe Schmo or, you know, General Mattis, at some point you get out and you transition to the next job. And it's yeah. all about how well you prepared yourself for that transition. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, one thing I, I, I preach on this podcast all the time is that nobody's going to take care of veterans like other veterans, but nobody's going to take care of you like you are. Oh, that's that's such a big. And you know what? I got to just fucking say one quick thing about that. As much as I would love to be able to help every single person I come across in the military, and don't get it twisted, I really would. I, I, I put myself out there in many different ways to help out, whether it's on board the ship, outside of the ship, you know, doing pitch and rudder stuff, trying to make sure people get exactly what they're looking for. And they don't, if they go somewhere else, they don't pay more than they should. Or if it's in Ford to Glory, you know, just trying to make sure all the information is available. You you hit it right on the head. People got to be able to do it and take the information and go out and do something with it. Yeah. They, they have to be able to do that because you can only lead a horse to water. And I'm not calling anybody on here fucking horses, you know, so hopefully you don't get any hate mail from that. Yeah, but li listen, they fucking can't do it if they don't want to really do it. So that's... That's a huge point, and I'm glad you made that real quick. Yeah, absolutely. So take care of yourselves. Prepare yourselves. Charles Chuck Mund, man, thanks yeah. for coming on the show tonight. It was awesome. And, um, you know, I hope everybody goes out, checks out your stuff, checks out Pitch and Rudder and Forward to Glory. Yeah. And get in there and get yourself set up for success. Get your stuff that you need done. I'm looking at these Funko Pops. And I fucking want one made of me so yeah. goddamn bad. The, the So what's funny about those Funko Pops, man, is they are not fucking cheap. Oh, they I'm are sure. not cheap. It is crazy. Even trying to get a mold done for those is wild and outlandish. So we're actually trying to get some developed right now for the officer community in the Navy. And then we're also trying to get it done for the Army and Marines. That's like the it. big ones. That yeah. we're trying to do right now, man, and it is not fucking cheap for those I, molds. I, I am bet. not kidding you. <laughs> I bet. So if you want one done, we can do it. We can do anything. But I'm gonna just to let you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. rob a bank or you know, you know, do a five year VA house hustle in <laughs> six months. There you go. Do one of those. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you know, Chuck, thanks for coming on. Thanks for talking to us tonight we're, we're at two hours now so this is the perfect time to wind it down and guys stick around because after this we're going to move into the badass american hero of the week that's coming up right after this Right, everybody welcome back a uh, huge huge shout out to my friend chuck mund for coming on doing the interview 
and uh, you know, reaching out to me initially and saying, "Hey, man, I'd love to come on the podcast. I got a lot of a lot of great life experience and a lot of great information to share with your listeners." So I appreciate it, Chuck. It was a great show. You gave us so much stuff that's useful to veterans that are transitioning, guys that are on active duty that are starting to set up that plan for their kind of escape from military service. Lots of really great information, lots of great tools and groups to go check out and pages to look at. So, Chuck, I appreciate it, man. Uh, We'll do this again really, really soon. Everybody, thanks for, for checking out you know, part two with Chuck Mund as he kind of dove even more deep into, you know, the transition process and what guys and gals should be doing as they start to, you know, kind of transition out of the military and make that decision that it's time to move on to the civilian sector. Lots of really great information. Um, So again, Chuck, thank you. Now we're going to move into the badass American hero of the week. So for those of you that don't know, maybe this is your first time checking out the the Badass American Heroes podcast. You know, at the end of every episode, we do the Badass American Hero of the Week. And what that is, is I go through the Congressional Medal of Honor Society's website of recipients of the Congressional Medal of Honor. And we're going through an alphabetical order, reading their citations, talking briefly about their lives and kind of, you know, what they did to uh, be awarded the medal and, um, you know, highlight their sacrifice and their service. So tonight, our badass American hero of the week is Boatswain's mate, first class Edward Allen of the U.S. Navy. And this citation comes to us from the Boxer Rebellion in the year 1900. And, uh, you know, an interesting fact here about Uh, Edward Allen is he was born for December 1859 in Amsterdam, Holland. So not a, you know, um, not born in the U S came over to the U S joined the Navy and the citation for his medal of honor reads as follows fighting with the relief expedition of the allied forces on 13, 20, 21 and 22 June, 1900, Edward Allen distinguished himself by meritorious conduct. So there we have it. And Edward Allen, thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. Um, You know, I say it every time we highlight one of our our Medal of Honor recipients that our nation is is so much better off for these brave men and women who who have served, who have gone above and beyond the call of duty and risked their lives for their brothers and sisters and for this great nation. So thank you, Edward Allen. Um, Guys, kind of my spiel tonight, you all know it by now, but I'm going to say it every single time because it's so, so important. If you're a veteran out there and you are struggling, reach out, make a phone call, send a DM, send a text, whatever you got to do, send a a fucking email, whatever you got to do to reach out and to get a hold of somebody and, you know, talk to someone. Everybody needs help at some point in their lives. There's nobody out there that can do it all on their own. I told you guys briefly on the last episode, you know, it's something I've been struggling with lately. I've got a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. And when the time's right, I'm going to share it with you guys because I think it's important. Um, But we're not quite there yet. So when the time is right, you know, I'm going to tell you guys all about it. And we'll talk about it and talk about how it uh, it affected me and my life and and the podcast and, and things going on with that. But, you know. When things were were crazy, I reached out to my brothers that that I knew had my back. Blake from the Noise Pollution Podcast. I reached out. We he talked to me. You know, my friend Matt that's been on the podcast. My friend Dan, who I'm trying to get on the podcast. You know who the fuck you are. You need to get on the podcast right now, Dan. Um, you know those guys. Re, you know, reached out to me, and I reached out to them, and, and they were there for me, and they they talked me through some things that I was going through, and gave me advice, and you know, let me know that they got my back. And, you know, that's the thing that as veterans we need to be doing. We need to be taking care of our own, no matter what the situation is. No matter what somebody's going through, man, there's somebody out there that wants to help you. You're not alone. Uh, It it seems like it sometimes. It seems like there's nobody else in the world that cares. uh, Nobody that knows what you're going through. Um, but that's not the case, man. If, if you're out there and you're hearing this, there are people out there that know exactly what you're going through and they want to help. They want to, they want to be there for you. They want to listen and and they want to help take care of you. Um, 
So don't ever hold it in. Reach out to somebody. Talk to somebody. And, uh, you know, reach out to us here at the podcast uh, on the Facebook page or on the Instagram or through email. You know, I get those messages. I read them fucking fast. As soon as as soon as I see it, I'm reading and responding. So if you ever need something, you can't get a hold of anybody else. Reach out to us here. Also, go to the Drinking Bros group on Facebook. It's run by, you know, JT, who's been on the show, uh, him, Matt Best, uh, Rocco, Evan Hafer, Ross Patterson, all those guys. This is the big community that JT built. And there's somebody in there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's a special Drinking Bros page called Vigilant Guard that's specifically dedicated to people that need to reach out, need to talk. There's somebody in there all the time, every day, literally 24 hours a day. And uh, you can always reach out and talk to somebody on there. Uh, you know, the VA crisis line, reach out for that, whatever you got to do, man, there's, there's people out there that want to help you and that want to listen and you have to take the first step and and reach out. So do that. If you're in in one of those situations, there's brothers and sisters and and people that want to help you. Um, that's all I'm going to touch on, on that. You know, I'm not going to stand up here on my soapbox. You guys know the deal. Um, but don't forget that it's there. Uh, okay. Also guys go like the Instagram, the Facebook, shoot me an email. Just say, Hey, what's up? What's up? Fuck face. Say it. It's cool. I got it. Um, but get out there. The Instagram, you can, you can find it at badass American heroes podcast on Instagram. It'll pop right up. You can find it on Facebook. You just search badass American heroes podcast. Boom. Give that a like, give it a follow post on there. Say what's up. You know, let me know what you think of the podcast. Uh, communicate with me talk to me you know whatever you want to do also guys go leave a review it's it takes like two seconds it's super helpful you just click on five stars say that brandon is the best uh he was born to do this there's nothing else out there like it all those great things um say you know that helps me climb up the the charts on itunes it helps me get more publicity it helps get these stories out to more people it helps me get more people on the show and those are all great things. You know, that's the mission of this is to to reach more people so that we can get these stories out to people and get these stories heard um, and reach more veterans with messages like the one that Chuck brought us tonight, you know, on how to take care of themselves and help themselves. So, boom, that's it. That's what I got for you guys tonight. Tune back in soon. We'll be coming back at you guys with another episode here really, really quick. And also um, stay tuned for the Swapcast this month of October with my boy Blake from Noise Pollution Podcast. And go check out Blake. Go check out his podcast. It's great. Blake is doing good stuff over there all the time. He's an awesome dude, and his podcast is really fucking good. If you like conspiracy theories, if you like awesome interviews with interesting people, he's got it all, man. He really does have everything over there. And, uh... He's an awesome dude, one of my best friends in the world, and go support him. Find him on Instagram and Facebook. You just do the same thing. Search Noise Pollution Podcast on both. It pops up. He's got a Facebook page and a Facebook group you can join, and he's got an Instagram out there as well. Guys, that does it for tonight. I'm Brandon. This is the Badass American Heroes Podcast. I am fucking out. I will see you guys later.